REC, Silfab, or Q-Cells. Who makes the best solar panel for your home as we're going into 2025? In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five reasons that make this the best solar panel of the year. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the best solar panel of 2025. And for this year, that panel is the REC Alpha Pure RX 470 watt panel. Now there's five key factors that make this the best solar panel of the year. And the first is heterojunction technology. Now REC solar cells are built using heterojunction technology, which is a combination of crystalline silicon and amorphous silicon or thin film silicon. And the result is a highly efficient solar cell. With highly efficient solar cells, you get an overall more efficient solar module in this year's model, achieving module efficiency of 22.6%. Now, when we talk about module efficiency, what we're talking about is what percent of sunlight that hits the surface of that solar panel, what percentage is successfully captured and converted into usable electricity? Now, some of the sunlight will just get reflected off. Some of it will pass through the solar module and hit the roof. Um, some could be lost as heat in the conversion process. But when we talk about module efficiency is what is the percentage of sunlight that actually is captured and converted into usable electricity? And REC is one of the best in the industry at 22.6%. Now, what this means is, is that you can squeeze more power production out of a limited roof space. So if you live in a smaller home, but you have high energy demands, using a high efficiency panel like the REC Alpha Pure RX may be a great way to go. Even if you pay a little bit higher price per watt for the solar panel, it's allowing you to achieve your energy goals out of that limited roof space. Now, the second major advantage is the lower degradation rate. Now, when we talk about degradation rate, what we're talking about is the percentage of performance that is lost each year as the solar panel ages, right? Solar panels, as they age, they lose a little bit of their performance. A standard solar panel is gonna guarantee you about 80 or 85% of its original power in year 25, which is typically how long the solar panel warranty goes. Whereas a, a solar panel with a lower degradation rate, like the REC Alpha Pure RX, they're guaranteeing at least 92% of initial rated power out in year 25. So what that means is more total usable energy over the lifetime of the system. And that's why a lot of times it's not sufficient to look at a solar panel or a solar panel system quote on just a, a wattage basis or a price per watt basis, what you really wanna consider long-term for the investment is what is the total amount of energy produced over the lifetime of the system, not just what's the instantaneous wattage on day one. All right, the third major advantage is the superior mechanical support. Now, REC solar modules are built using two crossbars on the backside of the module, which allows the module to achieve a higher snow load rating for those of you watching in northern states, as well as a higher wind load rating, which is important for those of you in coastal areas where you're prone to hurricanes and high winds. And so because REC uses that dual back crossbar design, it's able to achieve stronger mechanical integrity on the solar module. All right, the fourth major advantage is the low temperature coefficient. Now, solar panels, like a lot of other electrical equipment, will actually lose efficiency when they have to operate at extreme high temperatures. And so the temperature coefficient is the percentage of power that's lost for every degree of temperature above the ideal temperature that that solar module has to operate. So if you're, if you're watching this, if you're in a state like maybe you're in Southern California, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, places that have extreme high heat, if you have extreme high heat on the ground, on the rooftop, it could be 30 to 40 degrees hotter on the rooftop. So if you're watching from an area like that, then you wanna take a look at a solar panel that has a low temperature coefficient because it means that it's going to hold up better in terms of performance when it has to operate in those extreme high heat conditions, uh, which again, just translates to more total energy harvest over the lifetime of your system. And then finally, for number five, is the ProTrust warranty. Now, pretty much all tier one solar panels have a 25 year power warranty, but the REC ProTrust warranty has a number of advantages over a standard solar panel warranty. The first is you get full coverage on the solar panel output and mechanical integrity for 25 years. But then REC goes a step further 
in guaranteeing a labor or a service warranty as well. Now what that means is in the unlikely event that the contractor who does your initial solar panel installation, uh, in the event that they go out of business or for whatever reason, if they're not able to service a defective solar panel, uh, then REC will at its own expense pay for another technician to come out to replace that defective solar panel. So you're guaranteed on the mechanical strength of the panel, you're guaranteed on the electrical power output of the panel, and if you need labor or service to swap out a bad panel, REC has got you covered here as well. By the way, I had a chance to do a hands-on walkthrough of the new REC Alpha Pure RX at the RE Plus conference in Anaheim, California last summer. In fact, we'll share some of that footage with you here so you can see a little bit more hands-on what the module looks like and how it operates. Well, I know that the heterojunction technology is one of the differentiators that REC usually brings to the table with this module. For those that aren't as familiar with that terminology, can you explain a little bit what is heterojunction technology? Yeah, absolutely. Happy to talk about that. Um, RC, REC is one of the leaders in heterojunction. We are the first to truly commercialize heterojunction technology. This goes all the way back to the early nine or late 90s when Sanyo uh, developed the HIT technology. Um, they, it's basically the same thing. It is a thin film, it is a uh, end mono cell with a thin film layer on the top, amorphous silicon layer on the top and the bottom. What that does is increases your spectral response, gives you a greater, a broader spectrum of photons hitting that PN junction. Um, it also drops your temperature coefficient down. So as your temperature goes up, uh, the, uh, the temperature, the watt loss is not as much. So it's a really good product. Now, as I mentioned, Sanyo was doing this in the late 90s. So what is different? We just said, so if you remember the Sanyo and then Panasonic product, they were a bit more, not as cost effective, we'll say. Um, they were a more expensive product. REC figured out a way to do the heterojunction and the uh, interconnection uh, at a much more effective and efficient way, bringing that to the broader market. So this is a premium product without the premium price. So that's one of the things. REC also has brought the advanced interconnect to this, where it's at a zero gap product. So what that does is decreases the amount of space between the cells, more cells on the front side, less open space on the front side means a better panel efficiency. Again, you know, a lot of times you might look at the nameplate rating on the panel and say, oh, 470 watt panel. Well, in reality, that's under perfect ideal conditions, right, when the, when the panels are tested. But when it's extreme high temperatures on the rooftop in the middle of the summertime, the panels are not gonna be producing at peak potential. And that's why we want this number to be as low as possible. Uh, REC's, I believe, is for the residential solar panels, we cover the lowest in terms of temperature coefficient. It is. Which means the panel is gonna perform the best when it has to operate in those extreme high heat conditions. Now, George, there's another thing that I know sets REC apart from some of its competition, which is how the panel is mechanically reinforced. So if you don't mind, let's turn this module around and take a look at the construction on the backside. You've hit on a very good, very good piece of technology, and sometimes this gets lost in the translation, but thank you for bringing that up. REC has got one of the strongest panels um, in the industry. Um, this is rated at 7,000 pascals and positive in load and can actually go up to minus 5,400 pascals for high wind load environments. And that's due to the cross support bars <clears throat> that are attached along the back side. Now the REC frame, which uh, some people like or don't like, but we have a 30 millimeter frame um, for which allows us to put more panels on a, on a pallet but because we have a thinner frame, we moved to these back support bars. Um, it's called the 2S platform. Um, this is very effective in increasing uh, positive and negative loading, uh, giving you a stronger and stiffer panel. And those are the things that you want. Even if you don't live in a high snow load area, it's very important to have a strong panel because Stronger is always going to be better. All right, so this has been a look at the top recommended solar panel, the best solar panel for 2025, which again is the REC Alpha Pure RX 470 watt panel. By the way, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up 
Uh, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar panel options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for the REC solar panels or, or any of the leading solar panels, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with a solar surge expert uh, or just use the free online calculator so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Now, if you're a contractor out there or if you're looking to buy these solar panels directly, reach out to your local solar distributor. All the top distributors are carrying the REC panels. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.